Will AI, artificial intelligence, make us immortal? Or could it be the end of us? Elon Musk fears we're summoning the demon, and Stephen Hawking has warned that it could spell the end of the human race. Futurist Ray Kurzweil is more optimistic, believing that AI will bring an age of superabundance and solve all our problems, including death. President Obama has more immediate concerns, such as the risk that an algorithm could penetrate the nuclear codes. He said, if that's its only job, if it's self-teaching and it's just a really effective algorithm, then you've got problems. The next big step for AI is artificial general intelligence, or AGI, with an almost human-like ability to generally figure things out. In 2013, hundreds of experts were asked when they thought AGI may arise, and the median prediction was 2040. It's widely expected that once AI passes human level, it will accelerate exponentially. Soon after this, trying to understand the AI's world may be like an ant trying to understand the internet. After a thousand years, we'd be no closer to understanding. Kurzweil believes that by 2045, artificial superintelligence, or ASI, will be transforming our lives. Many experts think ASI will arrive a decade or two later, posing a serious threat. But Kurzweil is widely respected with an impressive record. At a time when many thought the internet was a fad, he predicted its global impact. Numerous inventions of his include the first flatbed scanner and the first print-to-speech reading machine for the blind. He has 20 honorary doctorates and honours from three US presidents. Kurzweil predicts that ASI will turn our pollution into food and energy. Nanobots in the bloodstream will replace ageing cells. And our bodies will increasingly integrate artificial materials. Organs may be replaced by advanced machine versions and artificial red blood cells may power their own movement, eliminating the need for a heart. Our brains will be enhanced to think billions of times faster with instant access to outside information. Eventually, Kurzweil believes, we'll become entirely artificial ourselves and our old biological bodies will seem incredibly primitive. We'll be immortal. But many are more concerned that AI may simply squash us like pests. While movies tend to make AI human-like, experts believe it may be more alien, creepy and calculating. If it could save a few minutes by eradicating humans, our demise would be brutally efficient. Elon Musk is worried that humans might just be the biological bootloader for digital superintelligence. He's donated $10 million to research on how to keep AI positive and founded OpenAI a project aiming to share AI's advantages so that it can't be controlled by a small group. Musk hopes a neural lace will be developed, connecting our brains to the AI. He notes that we already have two communicating parts of the brain and believes the third layer will be a wonderful upgrade. As Nick Bostrom says, we have what may be an extremely difficult problem with an unknown time to solve it, on which quite possibly the entire future of humanity depends. Perhaps all this has already played out and we are living in an AI simulation. In the future, simulations may become so advanced that simulated people become conscious. Variations of history may be explored, even through the eyes of individuals. Perhaps you're not the only one experiencing your life right now. Bostrom argues that one of three propositions is almost certainly true. Either human-level civilizations go extinct before reaching the post-human stage, where they could run ancestry simulations, or there is no interest in running the simulations, or we are almost certainly living in a simulation. Of course, some believe we will never create conscious AI or simulations. Philosopher Ned Block notes that the brain's combination of electricity and chemistry may be important to human consciousness and extremely difficult to replicate. 
Elon Musk argues that if you assume any progress at all, a perfect simulation is eventually inevitable. He suggests there will be billions of such simulations, and so the odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. If he's right, any superiority we feel over AI may be rather misplaced.